My name is Rehema Tukai and I come from Tanzania. It's my first time here in Bangalore, Manipal. I've been to India before, but not for medical reasons. So I, had, I came to see Dr. Mina Mutie. She's a gynecologist. And this was a, a referral made by my doctor in Tanzania, Dr. Simbakalia. And uh, I've suffered from um, some pains, uh, consistent pain for years now. And I've been managing it and it was getting worse. And I think my doctor eventually decided this will be taken care of. She made a referral to Dr. Mina. I think they have a working relationship before. And uh, I think I have not regretted the decision to come to Bangalore so far. I have been treated um, since uh, early this month. And I really appreciated, uh, I think, a couple of things. The first one was the speed. You were uh, treated within reasonable speed. There's no wastage of time. I got here immediately from the airport. I, I saw the doctor. I got most of the tests done on the first day and the second day. By the third day, I already knew what was the problem and uh, the decision on what was going to be done. The surgery date was um, decided on the third day and it was that quick. She presented with uh, heavy bleeding during menstruation and pain, which is not relieved with medical treatment. She has been suffering from this complaint for the past two years. So she was advised to surgery, which is removal of the uterus and the tubes with, in conservation to preserve the ovaries in view of her age. The procedure was difficult because of the bleeding and then we have to keep a drain which was kept and she was a quite understanding patient. She recovered well. She was cooperative during the hospital stay and even after follow up. Now she sutures has been removed and she is ready to go home. The doctor was really good at explaining what the problem is and uh, also trying to make simple some of the explanation which are very scientific that I really appreciated because now I know how to manage the situation even after the surgery so that it doesn't get any worse. Uh, so I'm happy, I feel much better. I'm ready to travel now and I have her contacts and uh, she's very open. We'll continue to talk after this and she has um, um, decided that the lines of communications will be open from now on and this is something I think is quite value, valuable for us because most of the time you'll be asking questions or you'll be needing to ask questions to somebody and uh, if you're there and somebody is here and there's no that line of communication then again you're about to, uh, you, you're lost in a way so if, if I keep communicating to her and my doctor at home so I'm sure that uh, the three-way communication I think that's the one thing I already think would really work for some of us patients. Um, also, I like the environment. I think it's quite good. It's clean upstairs. Uh, the wards are nice and the, uh, the nurses are quite friendly. Uh, language skills quite good. Uh, little things that they do a little bit, take an extra mile to just support the patient's experience. I think that was quite useful. Mm -hmm.